people in America have no clue about what is outside of America because they are so obsessed with their own uh, race wars and, 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 and race everything that they don't realize that it's not the same thing in one country or another. And so Zimbabwe did their pageant of the year Miss Universe Zimbabwe and the winner is a, a girl from Zimbabwe born and raised there parents from there and if you are like me and you know the colonial history of Zimbabwe which is when everybody was leaving uh, Zimbabwe the English people who receive orders from the UK uh, when they told them, hey, it's time to either leave or either stay, whatever, uh, they didn't want to. And they stayed there. They, they, they declared their independence from the UK. And they would, they, for a long time, they wanted to have a, a white class ruling Zimbabwe for years and years and years. After a point, there was the, 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 the actually, President Mugabe was the liberator of um of, uh, of the country and um, in reality even if he was very um, uh, what, is, what is the word I'm looking for when he was a rebel he was more radical but at a point when it was time to become a president at that time that's when he decided to step down on the on the on the radicalism and, and just be like okay listen let's all live together it's our country all of us but okay then uh things went went south a little bit but the composition of zimbabwe is of course uh in a majority of uh, black people but you also have uh, a community of white people that have been in zimbabwe forever and that are part of the com yeah just like in South Africa, you have actress, actress like uh, Charlize Theron, who are uh, descent, de descendant of uh, the Dutch that were in, uh, in, in, in South Africa. And so these people, even if they, their parents uh, migrated to Africa, uh, they, they great, their ancestors migrated like, 100 or 150 years ago or maybe before they be there for enough generations to call themselves africans in terms of land right and uh well of course when photos arrive of the the winner anybody in zimbabwe was yeah makes sense and they were happy for her well done congrats but everybody in america they went crazy because this is miss zimbabwe and they 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 went crazy everybody went crazy uh when like americans like when they see that for them it's like ah cultural appropriation ah. It's like <laughs> it's the end of the world for them because they they don't understand the mixity of some countries, especially because it's Africa, right? But if you look at it, if you look at it, uh, if you look at it from the point of view of, let's say, for example, us who who lived in France our whole life, like me, for example. I mean, not my whole life, but I lived 32 years of my life in France. Uh, Miss France is of every color. And when you have, uh, so let me show you. When you have Miss France, uh, can I see all the Miss France? Let me see. 
Euh, let me see. Toutes les Miss France. Euh, Miss France de 2020 à 2020. All right. Huh? Nice. All right. Oh, that's going to be a long one. Lord. If you look at Miss France, right? Uh, from 1920, or you look, for example, at my friend Camille Serf, who's one of the Miss France. Uh, that's not doing what I wanted. Um, Toutes les Miss France depuis 1955. All right. You see, for example, this is the last Miss France. She's from Guadeloupe and she is mixed, mixed race. If you take the one before 2022, she's a brunette. 2021, she's a brunette. 2020, I'm not sure what is her origins, but you know, brunette. Yeah, where are the blondes? Rousse. This one is from Guyane. Represent. Miss Serf. Cari uh, Camille Serf. Blonde. Then you had Flora Coquerel uh, from the West Indies. Uh, then you had this one. And you see, in France, having uh, Miss France that are from every color, is not a problem at all for us because we are in a multicultural society. Oh, Sonia Roland, my friend. Uh, we are in a multicultural society and uh, it is just normal to have Miss France of all colors in France because French come from all colors. And if you look at the comments from Americans uh, on Miss Zimbabwe, from Americans, if you look from Africans, like from, from Zimbabweans, not, not, but if you look at the comments from Zimbabweans, they're like, yeah, we're proud of her, well done, da, 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 da. She will represent us because for them it's normal. But if you look from other Africans and from especially Americans. They're like, oh my God, my ancestors are rolling in their grave. Everybody's like going crazy on the internet because they believe that everybody in Africa, in Zimbabwe, is supposed to be just black people. When you cannot at the same time, and I'm, I'm talking about people from the diaspora, right? You cannot at the same time celebrate the fact that you have a uh, a black Miss France coming from, yeah, people like me who grew up in France, who are French. And if I go and, and, and win anything, it would be as a French citizen. So, yeah, I was not born French, but I'm French now. But if I have... Uh, Let's say in four or five generations, if my family stays in Portugal or around France in Europe and my daughter or her daughter or the daughter of a daughter or a son wins Miss Portugal and she is, my daughter is mixed uh, Russian, Congo, Guinea-Bissau, Portugal. If she wins miss portugal here nobody will be shocked because it is just normal and same thing in the u.s the same people who are complaining about uh, a white african miss because they have no idea how geographic geography work and history the same people they're happy to celebrate to know that they have a miss universe that is black coming from america they like all this but they cannot wrap their hand around, head around the fact that in Africa is the same thing. Listen, you have 
two or three generations of Chinese that have been going to Africa for the last the last 20, 20, 30 years. Some of these people are not mixing themselves with the local population. And but at a point, some of them, they speak the language because they were born there. And then you have some of them, they mix and they have now you have Chinese Congolese people and you have Chinese people or Congolese people who they, they're from Chinese descent, but they live in, in Congo their whole life and they speak Lingala better than me. And if you've been there for 150 years, 200 years, whatever, two, three, four, five generations, and you were born there and that's all you knew, yes, you can represent your country. It's your country. You have the documents and yeah, you're white. And so when I saw the whole outrage, I was laughing. I was like, look at them. Look at them running everywhere. Look at them. <laughs> what are we going to do with all these people? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, English. They came a couple centuries later than the Africaners. Yes, exactly. Yes, you have to open, we have to open them up. It's a, it's a globalized world. Some countries is still, but in, in a country like that, listen, it's something I said uh, 15 years ago when Obama won the election, uh, president of the US. It was amazing for everybody. And I remember we were in France, we were in, on Champs-Élysées celebrating, right? And as I was celebrating with everybody, I was like, wait a minute. I'm celebrating a black president in the US. But us in France, we don't even have a black mayor, not even light skin. We never had that. So I was like, why, what are we, why are we celebrating another country that everybody's oh, amazing? It's not even happening in France. And then I was like, I mean, it's, it's great for them in the U.S., especially knowing their history, right? But uh, I was just saying, will we be? And I remember doing this interview. I would love to find this interview because I said that at the time. So it was 2009 or, or eight. I don't remember. I was saying, I hope the same joy that we have around the world to see a black American president and it's half black American president. I hope the day we have a half black Congolese president or half white, I hope everybody will celebrate the same. Or if there's a, a white president or a Lebanese president in 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 congo that have been there uh for generations and generation if one of them gets elected in congo because he has congolese nationality been in congo forever speaks lingala swahili knows the people is loved by the people and wins i hope nobody's gonna come to me with the same bullshit because i'll be like yeah he's from here Listen, I, I'm sure that uh, Abed Ashur in, in, in Kinshasa, in Congo, speaks better Lingala than me. I left at seven and I barely speak Lingala. I understand when people talk, but I don't, I don't speak that well because I'm French. So, yeah, it's funny to see uh, that that impossibility to just understand why and just go crazy because for you it's, it's oh, they're taking something from, no. They've been here forever. They're part of the landscape. They used to, at the time by force, if you understand, uh, if you know the story of that country, they used to own all the, the, the farm and, and all the lands uh, of farming and 
and at a point yeah there's been a lot of killing there's been a lot of uh the, when the black people took the power back then they were trying to kill a lot of the the, the white people who were owning for, for the farms and then at, at a point it pacified and then this is where they are and this is their history so it is normal uh the same as us in france we wouldn't we wouldn't be shocked well, listen was there ever one? Anyway, we have Miss France from La Réunion, which is a French territory. We from Guadeloupe, Martinique. We had from other countries uh, that people that were naturalized French. We have, of course, the rest of the regions. But we also, I don't know if we had any coming from Algeria or from uh, Morocco, or Tunisia. I'm not sure. But we had like, People coming from Italy, from here and there, because yeah, it's it's called the movements of population. And listen, when I saw her, I was not shocked at all because I know the history. Most people, listen, you have to look at the comments. People are going crazy. I mean, I'm like, yeah, they don't know what they're talking about.